Hi everyone and welcome back to this photography video blog. These blogs tied in with our extremely popular and exciting foundation in photography course. For those of you who are already on the course or have sat on the course in the past, you already know me. My name is Thomas Woods and the, the Foundation in Photography course is brought to you by the Shaw Academy. And to check out all our different courses that are available, be sure to have a look on shawacademy.com. So, tonight's video blog is all about getting up close to your subject using extension tubes. Now, in the past, we've probably typically thought of getting up close with macro lenses. Extension tubes are an extremely exciting and cost efficient way of getting closer and getting the same effect as you would get from a macro lens. So, first off, before we talk about extension tubes, let's talk about the minimum focusing distance of a lens. All lenses have a minimum focusing distance, meaning they have a limit as, uh, as to how close to the subject you can get before the lens can no longer focus. You'll know you've passed that, that minimum distance when the lens keeps trying to focus but doesn't stop or make that beep to indicate that the image is actually in focus. Now, if you're manually focusing, then you simply won't get the picture in focus. That's another way to tell you've passed that minimum focusing distance. The minimum focusing distance of your lens is typically written on the side of the lens itself. So if we look at the illustration, if we have a lens like this, which would have a minimum focusing distance about 0.45 meters or 1.5 feet. This is as, as close to the subject as we can get before the camera will no longer be able to focus on the subject. So at this distance here, the camera can still focus on the subject, but if we get any closer, it will no longer be able to make a picture that's in focus. A macro lens has a much smaller minimum focusing distance, which allows it to get much closer to the subject. So if you look at the macro lens on screen, it allows you to get about four inches away from the subject. That's its minimum focusing distance, about four inches. So macro lenses are a fantastic way of getting right up close and capturing all that great detail in tiny objects. However, the issue with macro lenses is that they're very, very expensive, especially if you're trying to get a good high quality macro lens or a specialized macro lens. So luckily for you guys, there are some accessories that can allow you to get much closer to the subject without having to get a macro lens. And these are extension tubes. Extension tubes are a great alternative to a macro lens. So extension tubes allow you to get much closer to the subject using your existing lens. Okay, so if you do have an existing lens, you can certainly use extension tubes to get you much closer to the subject. An extension tube goes between the camera body and the lens itself. It sits right between the camera and the lens. And what it does is it moves the lens further away from the focal plane. By doing this, reduces the minimum focal distance. So this basically means that you can get much closer to the subject and allowing you to capture all that great detail, get much closer and make those macro style shots that you're hoping to get and still be able to maintain focus, still be able to keep the image actually in focus. So you can use an extension tube with any kind of lens, like a telephoto, a zoom, a prime lens. If you're currently on the foundation course or you're a past student, you will remember our lesson all about lenses when you do add an extension tube, there is less light coming into the camera, so it does reduce the amount of light being allowed into the camera. So you do have to compensate for this change in exposure. And this can be done by using either a slower shutter speed or a wider aperture or a higher ISO. So just remember, when you do add an extension tube, it does reduce the amount of light coming into the camera, therefore you're going to need to compensate to correct your exposure. So the image on the left is the typical shot you would get with your standard or normal lens. One lens that you may already have at home or you may ex already have as part of your kit. An extension tube will allow you to turn that existing lens into a macro type lens or a macro style lens. So on the left is the image at its minimum focusing distance from the subject that it could currently get. When we add an extension tube, you can get obviously much closer in and start to create those macro shots. How close you get to the subject or how close that macro shot can be depends on the size of the extension tube you are using. So extension tubes do come in a variety of sizes, uh, each one allowing you to get closer and closer to the subject. You can even stack these together and get even closer to the subject. So you can build them up and create a huge uh, macro lens. The more you add, the more light you will use. So again, you will need to compensate by adjusting your exposure. So do remember that. 
And some extension tubes come with electronic components in them that allow you to, your lens to communicate with your camera. So I'll just highlight them here in red for you guys. So what this means is that the lens maintains its ability to autofocus or maintains its autofocus function. If you buy extension tubes without these components, then the lens you are using will lose its connection with the camera and will therefore lose its autofocus function and you will end up having to manually focus. So if you do buy one without these electrical components, you're going to only be able to manually focus that lens. Canon and Nikon's own brand tubes usually come with these connections, but cheaper ones may not. And there will be a noticeable difference in the price between one that can, com that can accommodate um, autofocus and ones that do not come with autofocus. So extension tubes, guys, are a fantastic low-cost way of getting into macro photography and showing details of the world that we wouldn't get to see with our eyes. So guys, thanks for watching. That's just a quick video all about extension tubes. We'll see you back for our next video blog.